uh, RAF Akrotiri, labelled there in the south of the island, a big RAF base. There's been some speculation about uh, whether fighter jets might have been landing there over the past few days. There is due to be a, an exercise of RAF typhoons flying out of there over the next three weeks. That could just be coincidental timing. Um, but also within the Mediterranean, you have uh, a number of US ships. There's four destroyers uh, based somewhere in the eastern Mediterranean. Uh, you also have the rumor, at least, of uh, a UK submarine, uh, one of the Trafalgar class submarines that was reportedly uh, seen in Gibraltar over the weekend. And between those um, five uh, ships, you have um, an arsenal of cruise Tomahawk missiles. So they could s station themselves at a safe distance away from Syria and fire missiles uh, into the country uh, at the targets. Now, what are we talking about targets? Well, chemical weapons and the use of them have been the catalyst for uh, any forthcoming action. I don't think you would target chemical weapon sites because you can't guarantee that you'd obliterate them completely. And if you don't, you just end up with leaks. And that is obviously completely undesirable. So what they might try and do instead in order to get the message that they want to get across is target perhaps government ministries, uh, perhaps bases belonging to the Republican Guard uh, and the like. It's by no means guaranteed, of course, that the UK will be involved. We've got a vote happening on Thursday. But if it were to get involved, what can we deduce from tactics in previous conflicts? Well, I think that uh, as per previous conflicts, Iraq, Afghanistan, um, Libya to an extent, uh, the UK will sort of be taking up the rear, if you like. It'll be very much US-led. Um, we spoke about the submarine, the Trafalgar-class submarine that's in the Mediterranean. You might, in uh, RAF Akrotiri there, if I remove those icons, you can see it more closely. You might base fast jets there to give um, cover um, for those ships. Uh, you might base um, various other transportation logistical assets there. But if the map just comes out a little bit more and shows uh, the continent as a whole and North Africa, you'll see RAF Marum marked on there. Now, why have I put that on there? Well, during the Libyan conflict a couple of years ago, RAF tornadoes flew from RAF Marum uh, down into Libya okay having to refuel along the way uh, and at times using an airbase in Italy but that just gives you a demonstration that you don't always have to have uh, fighter jets very close to the country you want to attack uh, things can be done from a distance as well